coming that's coming to play 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 What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's get ready to yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The scandalous, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so I want to do a quick video on this mapping, how to MIDI map and channel map rudiments, drums, or drums or instruments inside of Contact Player. So this was kind of tricky to do. I had to figure this out. So let's just do this real quick. Let's reset that. All right. So I bought Rudiments Drums recently. And I have a machine. Machine like Micro, the small one. And if you look right here. So machine normal mode. This is machine normal mode. And you got to open up the machine or the contact DAW. Like inside FL, I do it different. So if you hit shift and this button in the corner, it'll turn this pad into MIDI mode, meaning you can control all your drums with it. So anything I select, this will control it like my keyboard does. So that being said, I'm using this in MIDI mode. Now, if you want to customize this, they have, if you look inside your contact or um, your native instruments download, so this thing's native instruments controller editor. So in here, you can customize it. You can set which keys these are and um, what colors they are. And you can even set it what color it turns to when you, when you hit it. So you can customize this. But what's also dope, I was able to turn this into a play stop um, controller. So I can... I can start the DAW or the session playing outside of FL with this. Play and then stop. I haven't been able to do the record yet, but I'm sure there's a way to set the record. But anyways, that, that being all that being said, let's get this done real quick. So this is Rudiment Drums. It's classic hip-hop, boom-bap drums, trap drums. You got, like, was it 16 pads, 16 instruments, 16 one-shots... And then also you have uh, 16 patterns. So the one shots go from the beginning of the keyboard. So like, what is that? Like C1 or C0. So on my keypad, I can hit the key, the first key. And it hits the drums or on the pad because I set this up. And they have a bunch of bunch of kits. And then also they have the patterns. Here's the patterns. So if I go to what's this like C5 or something. Yeah, so all all that, you know what I mean? They got the patterns, and if you're running this inside of the player, you can change all the MIDI information, but I'm doing it different. I'm running this inside of FL exclusively, just using FL to adjust all the MIDI notes. So this is what I'm pointing out that I wanted to do. So if you go inside FL right here, so contact is loaded on a sample section inside of of um FL's player. So that is routed to channel six. So if we go to channel six, so all these come out of channel six, which that's a problem for me because I want to be able to fine tune each and every drum. I want each and every drum instrument on its own perspective track. So in order to do that, we gotta go inside a contact player. So whatever instrument you load up, whatever first one you load, if you go up here, they have settings in here, but you can go to, what is it? That's not that one. 
Oh, outputs. Click on outputs or mm, click on outputs. It brings up all your outputs down here. Once it brings that up, you go to outputs right here. Click on add. Quantity. You want to add how many ever you want to add. Um, I know there's 16 drums in this kit, but I added 18 to have two extra. Then you go to host output and you add the number one. So kit ST1. Click on that. And then do ascending output assignment, meaning it'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll do it in order. Then delete any existing channels before this and then make this your default configuration. If you want this to be your default setting, because what you're going to do, you're going to set up all these channels. And anytime you add instruments into this player right here, it will add the next instrument to the next perspective channel and you can adjust the volume. I'm not going to do it now because I already did it. Once you do that, if you look down here, kick one is on one, kick two is on two, snares on three, and so forth. So they're on their all perspective channels. Now, as of now, these are not routed to their own channels in FL. They're all coming out on channel six. So in order to get them to come out on all these channels right here, you got to go into where you got contact loaded in FL. So that's right here. If you click on that, it opens it up. If you can't see this gear icon, click on this gear icon. Click on this middle one. If it's on settings, go to processing. And then it has auto map outputs. And you can see right here, it's showing all the drums that we set to each individual channel. So we hit auto mapping. Now, after we hit auto mapping, now it's. Now all those drums are on their own perspective track, which is what we want because on my kick, I want decap de decapitator on my kick on this one, but I don't want it on this snare, or I might want it on the snare. But I need that option to be able to do that. And on this snare, I might want to roll off some of the low end, which I'm doing right here. So now it gives me the freedom to be able to fine tune each individual sound and tweak it and then, you know, level adjust it out how I want. But also you can level adjust inside here. You can level just down here. So like the kick, I can turn it down in here. And then when you load other instruments in, those other instruments will load on the open tracks or you assign it to open tracks. So these right here, once you load these, because in contact, they stack. And that's pretty much it, man. That's how you um, get all your drum sounds to come out into individual tracks in FL Studio using contact, uh, rudiments, drums, and FL Studio, what are we on, 21? Yeah, that's that. It's your boy D. Go to scans.com, check out some merch, check out some beats. New sample packs coming. I'm out. Coming to play, coming to play, let coming to play, let play, let coming to 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 play, let Killing my enemies, but feeling like hitting seems like I kill my identity. When I'm in the vicinity, I'm a legitimate nut. My temper minutes a minute, I've been a minute like dinner's a killer. It's a minute of vengeance, cynical vengeance, I'm sinister. Nothing but a villain of love, a villain of suck. You're drinking him up, filling their blood, spilling the cold. My toes like a overdose for the truck. Don't get murdered, don't get killed. I do this from the front of the door. Don't get murdered, don't get killed. I do this from the front of the door. Don't get murdered, don't get killed. I do this from the front of the door. Don't get murdered, don't get killed.
doing too much, they moving too nuts. Running the cities and packing some tools just in case. Not taking the walls. His home is gone. His home is gone. His home is gone. His home is gone. How did you tell them boys slow down? 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 Hey, these niggas here, Mr. Little.